Hi everyone, welcome back to the review section. Mm -hmm. And touching back on the article a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, it's stated that Disney has really tried to keep its theme parks afloat mm -hmm. until coronavirus has completely gone. Mm -hmm. um, because its theme parks account for 35% of the total revenue it makes. Keep afloat. Keep something afloat. We often talk about what is right, the right or wrong thing to do in this kind of situation. Right. But looking at California, mm. um, which has Disneyland, mm. they chose to strictly close the theme park mm. until further notice. But mm. Orlando, Florida, being the epicenter of the epidemic, um, now having over 15,000 cases, mm. a huge rise mm. since March 15th, mm. chose to reopen Disneyland, which is very questionable. It is uh, quite an interesting thing that Disney also had to, I guess, furlough a lot of their employees, especially their park employees. Mm -hmm. However, it was very lucky that they were also eligible for government assistance in this situation. Furlough. Furlough. Eligible. Illegible. What point should businesses such as Disney World and like theme parks actually reopen in your opinion? Well, it's very hard to say in this situation, um, especially COVID-19 being such a unique situation. Mm. It's, I guess it is, from a business point of view, I guess as soon as possible, <laughs> as long as they can introduce some sort of, uh, I guess, procedure to maybe regulate the customers coming in. It's mm -hmm. maybe they only let a certain amount of customers in and space them at a, a safe distance. But at the moment, any sort of gathering can lead to an increase of cases, regardless mm -hmm. of whether we reduce the numbers or we even distance them. In some cases, exactly. it's, it's very difficult. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I agree with what you said. I think um, as a, from a business standpoint, mm -hmm. you know, they want to open as soon as possible. But I generally think that theme parks you know, they gather such a large amount of people mm -hmm. that they should only reopen when coronavirus is completely gone. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that will cause companies such as Disney to go further into the red, which is a big problem. I think keeping people apart in theme parks is going to be too tough. It will be quite difficult. Yeah. Well, what businesses maybe you've heard in England or even here in Korea have reopened mm. during this crisis? And do you think it's the right time that they reopened? Um, so I heard some museums reopened, mm -hmm. I believe, and some bars that mm -hmm. were closed and mm -hmm. clubs as well, mm -hmm. which is a, I think it's a huge mistake, mm -hmm. especially bars and clubs. Mm -hmm. um, I actually read that they are the places where you're most likely to get infected. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I don't think they reopened at the right time. What about you? Well, I would agree with you, especially with bars and clubs, because you're in a confined space mm -hmm. for, and you're basically breathing each other's air in. There's yeah. not a lot of circulation going through the bar or the club. Um, a lot of places like restaurants and cafes have remained open during mm -hmm. the COVID outbreak. And I guess I uh, they shouldn't as well, if we think about it. I mean, a bar and a club and a cafe are more for leisure. Yeah. Like we don't really need co coffee. Like I, people say we need coffee, but like <laughs> you don't really. Oh, I really do. Yeah. No, but yeah, we don't. But the same thing is like with bars and and clubs. You don't really need to go there, you and they're yeah. at late night, so there's not a lot of people going there anyway. I mean, mm -hmm. out of the population. Right. So I think I recently know that they've closed down again for the, oh, for the really? time being. Okay. Uh, however, oh, of, the, of the time being of this video being mm -hmm. recorded, uh, however, yes, they shouldn't have ever been open, right. in my opinion. I agree. Okay, that does it for this unit, and we'll see you in the next one.